wanted to show you how my hair came out. Obviously, I pinned the little You'll get like the mascara up here and nobody tells you because your friends are rude. Um, I thought that's what this was, but my eyebrows are so gnarly right now that it just looks like I have mascara and I don't. It's just my eyebrows are out of control because it's quarantine and I am growing these babies out so they're nice and thick. I need to fix these, but there's really nothing I can do to fix them at this point. Um, they're just a hot, furrowed mess. But I am excited because uh, my Ulta shipment came today and I've been waiting two weeks for this and it's just the staples. I spend a hundred bucks, I get everything all at the same time um, that I need for my skincare and I've recently become obsessed with The Ordinary, just like everybody else, I thought it was a giant scam and I thought they were just like paying people online to talk about it um, and so I decided to try it because it's dirt cheap um, and I ended up getting for the first time um, I got the rosehip oil the buffet and then I got the AHA BHA mask it looks like the blood mask that everyone's obsessed with um, and I still have a little bit of this I use this probably every two weeks on my, on my skin and it's been really amazing. Um, instantly I notice a difference which is what everybody says in these videos and you don't believe them and then you do it and you're like wow this is actually legit. Um, I had the buffet. So the buffet it was a peptide serum and it was to be put on I believe before the rose hip oil um, and I would do this in the morning with a buffer if you can see it um, but I don't really know if this did anything for me we're gonna find out because I've taken it out of my next lineup um, it just like was kind of sticky and um, it didn't even if I, I at first I was I was putting it in my hands and then rubbing all over my face and it was almost like foaming up. It was kind of strange. So then I had watched a few more videos and some of the girls in the videos talked about, um, actually girls and a, a gentleman who has a YouTube channel, um, talking about skincare, which I thought was really cool, said that we should pat it into our face. So I started doing that and I still like really didn't, I didn't really feel a difference, but there is a new buffet with zinc. My friend Sam just ordered it, so she said she's trying that. It was a little bit more expensive, so I'm on a budget this week. So I decided to replace that with, oh, I did get the buffet. I did, okay. So apparently I'm keeping this. I don't know, maybe if I reintroduce the order differently, it'll work for me, I don't know. But um, something I did want to try, I don't know, yes the absorbic acid, 8% alpha arbu arbutin, 2%. This, I believe, I picked up because 
So while the rose oil was moisturizing my skin, made it feel really great. Um, the buffet, I felt like brightened my skin a little bit. Was that, am I insane? Um, and then I, I really loved the effects of that. So I wanted to make sure that I continue to have my skin have that, that brightening effect. Um, so I opted to get the vitamin C suspension, um, which had some mixed reviews. Uh, people didn't really care for this too much, but everybody's skin's different. Um, every, you know, everyone's different, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. And then, but the absorbic acid, I got this one specifically, um, was it this or the niacin? I think the niacin is coming from Sephora because they were out of stock at Ulta, on the Ulta website. Um, one of these is going to take care of my, oh no, this is the absorbic acid is also vitamin C. So I got two vitamin C's, so we will see which one does better for me. And then I do have the niacin, ni niacin, niacin, um, coming. And that is supposed to help with the redness and the scarring that is on my face. So I was using this line for about, I think the, these bottles are, yeah, 30 milliliters. So it's one fluid ounce. So I was using this whole set that I had, um, gosh, I want to say even maybe for like about a month. And then I ran out, and the second I ran out, my skin, it just went downhill from there. I had a bunch of dry patches, um, I was breaking out again, um, just like the redness was coming back. So I'm going to make sure next time to order this when I get low, just because of quarantine, try to order like two weeks out um, so I'm not in this situation. I literally had nothing to moisturize my face and I don't trust anything anymore, even from the drugstore. Some of those drugstore moisturizers don't really work well with me, so it's best if I do nothing. Um, but in emergency situations, when my skin does get dry and super patchy, um, this is the only thing that I use other than this rosehip oil now. This is just for emergencies though. But I mean, you can't put this on and then think that if you have aquifer on your face that you're gonna be able to put on concealer and have it look good. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, my makeup today is horrible because this was the only thing that I could use to keep my face uh, nice and the M word. I will not say it because it's disgusting. Um, so I'm excited to have these again. I also ordered the NARS Star Scene Cheek Palette. This has uh, the color orgasm in it, which everybody talks about. Um, I think I had a sample of it before, but I wanted to just kind of make a commitment and buy this. So I never used to buy, just like a quick story, I never used to buy quality makeup. I would always go to the drugstore. Um, I would get L'Oreal, Revlon HD, foundation, um, any cheap blush that I could find in these wacky colors, I would get and I realized that if you spend money on quality makeup, this lasts forever. This will last you forever. Um, there are expiration dates on makeup. You should follow them because um, they can irritate your skin. But everybody pushes it, I believe. Um, I've had this palette years now, years. Um, I probably shouldn't be promoting this, but I mean, obviously this shade was my favorite. I use this probably twice a week, and I've had this for like, it had to have been like five years I've had this. Three years? I don't know, but good quality makeup is more pigmented and compact, so it lasts way longer. So, I mean, you are upfront, you are spending a little bit more money, but in the long run, you're gonna have quality makeup, you're gonna have a product, you're not gonna be buying as frequently um, you know, when your product does run out, so <sighs> spend the money, ladies. Spend the money. Um, also, too, up until, actually up until like two months ago, this was always my staple um, go-to mascara, and you know, it's great for, it is what it is, um, every day, you know, no makeup, you just want to throw on some mascara and some brows, 
the Voluminous in Carbon Black by L'Oreal. L'Oreal, it's the only drugstore um, mascara that I found that you could really layer and get that nice full look until I caved and started buying this magic mascara. This is a 24 hour waterproof, indestructible volume and curl mascara um, from MAC and it is amazing. It comes with this little oil to remove the cleanse off oil to remove the mascara because I mean this is this is hard to get off I'm not gonna lie but this gives me some of the best lashes I've ever had it looks like I'm wearing false lashes when I use this um so now I suck it up I spend the money and I get this this oil this is a joke you have to use the entire bottle to get the makeup off um I don't know why I think they give it to you oops, as a sample in the package and then they want you to buy a jar of it any jar of makeup removal oil or any of that stuff it just it literally goes so quick with me I don't waste my time do you know what I use to remove my makeup this baby right here I don't even use a washcloth on my face I literally just scoop the coconut oil into my hands rub it on my eyes in the shower rinse it off um i don't even use a facial cleanser anymore in the shower um if it if my face does feel like it has a lot of buildup on it and i do need to wash it um i have like a basic silic acid um wash that i'll use on my face but i don't even really like to do that honestly um these keep my skin healthy and glowing so I am going to probably wipe up all this makeup and then just put this on my face and maybe I will document um, like the week progressively using these products so you can see them. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions about um, the ordinary or why my eyebrows are so nasty. Just uh, slide in the comments there. Bye.